Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we're asked to differentiate the function y is equal to x squared plus 1 over x cubed minus 1. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to notice that we have a fraction here, so we want to use the quotient rule. So our derivative y prime is going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. And this is all going to be over the square of the denominator. Next step, we can actually calculate what these derivatives are. So keeping this term the same. The derivative of x squared, well, we have a power function. So you bring down the exponent and subtract 1 for, from your exponent. So that 2 minus 1 is just 1. x to the first power is just x. And that's going to be plus the derivative of 1. 1 is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So this is just plus 0, which we don't have to write minus x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x cubed, again, power function, bring down the exponent, subtract 1 to get your new exponent. So bring down the 3, and then 3 minus 1 for your exponent gives you 2. And then again, 1 is a constant, so we're basically subtracting 0 in terms of the derivative, so we can just ignore that. This is all over x cubed minus 1 squared, and this is going to be equal to 2x to the fourth, Again, multiplying terms that have the same base, add their exponents. So 3 plus 1 is 4, and then minus 2x minus x squared times 3x squared is 3x to the 2 plus 2 is x to the 4th. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 3x squared. And this is all over the same x cubed minus 1 squared. Now... This is equal to minus 2x minus 3x squared plus 2x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth, combining like terms. It's going to be as 2 minus 3 is negative 1x to the fourth, which we can just write as negative x to the fourth. And this is all over x cubed minus 1 squared. This is your derivative. There's not much you can do to simplify it anymore. You could foil out the denominator, but that's not really going to make it any simpler to understand but this is your final derivative.